In this video, we're going to discuss heat exchanger for a high efficiency 90 plus condensing furnace. This is the heat exchanger, and as we look at it, you can see where the burner tubes are at at the top. And if we move down, you can see where the tubes for the secondary heat exchanger is located. Uh, these little holes or pipes coming out is actually uh, the secondary heat exchanger. They put these little radiant panels inside of it and this is to help slow down some of the flue gases so it'll be able to extract additional amount of heat from the flue gases. Now we're going to slide that back in um, so I could turn it around so you can see the, um, the other side of the heat exchanger. We're going to come around to the back side of it and we can see the primary heat exchanger and the primary heat exchanger is like a regular uh, heat exchanger you find on any type of 80% efficiency furnace. It's a clamshell type of heat exchanger. But if you notice toward the back of it, it will come down uh, toward the, uh, the back where you will go into the secondary heat exchanger. This secondary heat exchanger is built like a refrigeration condenser coil or a radiator coil. It has fins on it. It's made out of stainless steel because the uh, condensate that will go through is slightly corrosive, uh, acidic, and can wear out any type of mild steel. So they use stainless to keep it from uh, rusting out and deteriorating uh, on a, uh, very quickly. So it will last for many years this way. But if we look at it, uh, I'm going to come around to the other side. And we're going to look at the heat exchanger from the back side. And we're going to look at it and see that this heat exchanger uh, from the back side is a, like I say, it's a clamshell type of heat exchanger. And this design of it, it starts out very large at the top and it gets smaller, causing the velocity to increase. As the velocity increases, it moves faster. But then again, they're going through smaller passages so to be able to extract heat from the, uh, the flue gases. A couple other things you see with the heat exchanger. Even though this the inlet comes in, they make a turn here, then they put these little indentations, these dimples inside of it to help slow down the flue gases so it can basically be able to extract additional heat before it goes into the secondary heat exchanger. Now they even divide it into smaller passages where uh, the secondary heat exchanger is located close to the blower motor where the coolest temperature is so you have a big temperature difference to help uh, remove heat. And this system, like I said, uh, is designed to remove uh, at least 90 percent of the heat energy from the, uh, the flue gases. And these furnaces can be, get up to about uh, 95 to 97 percent efficiency, which is only putting about 5 to 3 percent of heat into the chimney or outdoors compared to uh, a normal furnace, which is about 80 percent, sending 20 percent of the heat energy uh, outdoors into the chimney. Years ago, some furnace was only 50 to 60 percent efficient and of course a great deal of energy was lost during that time. So uh, this is, like I say, the new technology, the new type of heat exchanger you may find to um, control the uh, heat loss from a furnace.